not only are the tracks curving, but the girders underneath are curving. It's a very unusual structure for railroads. And also the fact that it is a box structure. It's more typical a highway construction rather than a railroad construction. But this is a bridge that cracked when it was 10 years old. Right now it needs to put paint. We're now crossing underneath the orange line. the connection that was built into the Dearborn subway. There was also a connection here at 13th Street that was built into the State Street subway. Back in the 1930s, they envisioned that this would connect to a subway leading out under Archer Avenue. Well, it connects to a subway leading to Dan Ryan.
Attention passengers at Monroe, this is not a red line train. This train is a private charter train. Please do not board this train. Red line service will follow immediately. Private charter train. One of the reasons for the continuous platform is the ability to adjust station stops. And at one time there were actually four station stops along this platform. When they were constructing Washington crossover for the proposed Block 37, they instituted the station stop at Lake. They tried to bring back the Washington stop, but people like the Lake stop, so therefore we are still at three stations. There was no break in the platform over in the State Street subway for Project 37. Uh, take a deep breath. We're going under the river. For the umpteenth time.
the 2 2. Plus, the vision is a nice wide street. Notice that there's a lot of construction going on. This is the next Chicago Department of Transportation project. It's building a brand new entrance to the Clark Division. Stop. So, I guess they'll call it Clark LaSalle Division.